Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smoking Lamp is Lit. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I clean my pipes with whiskey. So you can choose just about any kind of whiskey that you like. Uh, some of them will go better with other tobaccos. Uh, so like you can use a cherry flavored whiskey or something along those lines. Supposedly it'll add a little bit of flavor to your smoke. Uh, kind of let it seep into the wood a little bit too. Adds a little flavor. Also cleans it because of the alcohol. But so I choose Jameson because I like it and I keep a little little pocket rocket of it in my my tool kit because it's just easier. Uh, you wouldn't want to drink this afterwards but basically you just need a little whiskey a paper towel just in case and a pipe cleaner probably want to have more than one but we'll just disassemble our pipe here and what I do the reason why I get these small bottles like this is because it's perfect to just dip in your pipe cleaner and you take your pipe and then you kind of just rub it in and out cleaning any excess tobacco or uh, remnants of it yeah it's not too doesn't come out too clean which is good and, and I take dip it in the other direction and go into the stem here and kind of just give this a good little clean to get all the way into the bottom of it and now I'm not too sure on how professional this is but I've heard it it's been done and I've done it and it seems to work fairly well You just clean out any of, the, like I said, any of the excess debris. Get down in there. Let it kind of soak into the wood. You don't want to do too much, but you now you don't want to clean too much of the cake that you've built up inside your pipe. But you know you want to clean a little bit of it out. And it, like I said, it adds a little bit of a flavor, at least to the first couple of smokes you have afterwards. And depending on the uh, the tobacco you use, probably want to pair a good whiskey or rum or something with it. So you know, like if you get a cherry tobacco or something like that, probably a good cherry brandy that might work really well with it so and of course I'm sure you could do this with just about anything like if you just want to clean then you could probably use a uh, like a vodka or great or Everclear and let it dry out completely and so of course we've done enough with that we'll take another one run it in just kind of get a little of the excess moisture out and of course if you want to you can take your stem here and run the pipe cleaner up it oh see and that is why you have a paper towel <laughs> should have known well I'm probably going to need a new bottle here shortly. Well, at least my table going to be clean and smell delicious if you're a Jameson fan. Oh, look at that. My table. Well. 
Yeah, well, oh well. I'll go ahead and leave that in. Clean it off the pipe. And of course I have it on a little towel here. But a little further to go down now but again you can take and just run the pipe cleaner in all the way up it until you reach the end of the mouthpiece kind of do it a few times cleans out any of the gunk you have and whatnot so that's about all I have. You let it dry out a little bit. And I'll go ahead and put a lid on this before I spill it a third time. Put it back in my trusty kit. I have an old cigar box that I keep my torch for my cigars in, my cigar cutters, some of the little clay tabs I, I could use to keep my tobacco fresh. And so, this has been how I clean my pipes. I hope you all enjoyed it, find it informative. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. And I will try to answer them, and if I don't know, I'll look it up. But this, I'm learning along with y'all, so feel free to ask. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we'll see about some more videos. I hope y'all have a good one. Bye.